Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Tuesday the 3rd of May. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon my path. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. Truly, they are the joy of my heart. How sweet are your words to my taste. They are sweeter than honey to my mouth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Tuesday night's psalm is the beautiful Psalm 121. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. Tonight, David Erb sings this for us. I will lift up my eyes to the hills, from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slow. Our Old Testament reading is from Exodus chapter 19, verses 1 to 16. On the third new moon, after the Israelites had gone out of the land of Egypt, on that very day they came into the wilderness of Sinai. They had journeyed from Rephidim, entered the wilderness of Sinai and camped in the wilderness. Israel camped there in front of the mountain. Then Moses went up to God. The Lord called to him from the mountain, saying, Thus you shall say to the house of Jacob and tell the Israelites, You have seen what I did to the Egyptians and how I bore you on eagles' wings and brought you to myself. Now, therefore, if you obey my voice and keep my covenant, you shall be my treasured possession out of all the peoples. Indeed, the whole earth is mine, but you shall be for me a priestly kingdom and a holy nation. These are the words that you shall speak to the Israelites. So Moses came, summoned the elders of the people and set before them all these words that the Lord had commanded him. The people all answered as one, everything that the Lord has spoken, we will do. Moses reported the words of the people to the Lord. Then the Lord said to Moses, I am going to come to you in a dense cloud in order that the people may hear when I speak with you and so trust you ever after. When Moses had told the words of the people to the Lord, the Lord said to Moses, go to the people and consecrate them today and tomorrow. Have them wash their clothes and prepare for the third day. Because on the third day, the Lord will come down upon Mount Sinai in the sight of all the people. You shall set limits for the people all around saying, be careful not to go up the mountain or to touch the edge of it. Any who touch the mountain shall be put to death. No hand shall touch them, but they shall be stoned or shot with arrows. Whether animal or human being, they shall not live. When the trumpet sounds a long blast, they may go up on the mountain. So Moses went down up from the mountain to the people. He consecrated the people and they washed their clothes. And he said to the people, Prepare for the third day. Do not go near a woman. 
So on the third morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning, as well as a thick cloud on the mountain, and a blast of a trumpet so loud that all the people who were in the camp trembled. Tonight's Easter hymn, the hymn, The Strife is O'er, The Battle Done, sung by the choir of Truro Cathedral. And our Gospel reading is from Matthew chapter 3, verses 7 to 12. But when he saw many Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? Bear fruit worthy of repentance. Do not presume to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our ancestor. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children to Abraham. Even now the axe is lying at the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptise you with water for repentance, but one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptise you with the Holy Spirit and fire, his winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor and will gather his wheat into the granary. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St John the Baptist. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. St John the Baptist is, of course, speaking of Jesus and compare, comparing his master to himself. He is all too aware of his deep sense of unworthiness. In our reading from Exodus, there is great stress tonight on the distance, the majesty, the awe and the splendour of God, so much so that it is literally 
scary stuff that if people so much as touch the edge of the mountain, no hand should touch it. And if they do, verse 13, they shall be stoned or shot with arrows, whether animal or human being, they shall not live. The sense of not being worthy even to carry the sandal of Jesus. The sense of if we come too close, are over familiar with our God, then there is deep fear and anxiety. We must not touch, we must not come too close. And yet, the Jesus of whom St John the Baptist speaks is the Jesus who says, come unto me. We are bidden, we are invited and welcomed by the God we know and love in Jesus Christ. Not to come with any sense of entitlement or right in, in, in one sense, but nevertheless, to know ourselves accepted of God. To the extent that we do not have to live in the fear of not touching this or not coming too close there. But as we do so, as we respond to the invitation of God in Christ, let us nevertheless hold on to something of the God as we know him spoken about in Exodus. The God of majesty and splendour and awe, of glory and power. Never let us take God so for granted that we somehow turn God into a lapdog or a, a Father Christmas that gives us absolutely everything we want. No, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God who spoke to Moses, the God made known to us in Jesus, the God loved and served by us, is a God of awe and majesty, worthy of our worship, worthy of every ounce and fibre of our being. And yet that incredible, amazing and wonderful invitation that in the one baptised by St John the Baptist, we are invited to come close, to be called sisters and brothers of Jesus, children of Almighty God. Thank God for his welcome of us. May we, we respond with everything that we have. Amen. Our New Testament song, a song of love from 1 John chapter 4. Beloved, let us love for love is of God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. In this, the love of God was revealed among us, that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the expiation for our sins. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we ought also to love one another. For if we love one another, God abides in us and God's love will be perfected in us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Loving creator of all, watch over us this night and keep us in the light of your presence. May our praise continually blend with the song of all creation until we come to those eternal joys which you promise in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. O oh God, you gave your only Son to suffer death on the cross for our redemption, and by his glorious resurrection you delivered us from the power of death. May we die every day to sin, so that we may live with him forever in the joy of the resurrection. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, sovereign God, saviour of all. You give light to those who walk in darkness and desire that in every place prayer shall be offered in Jesus' name. We bless you for the gifts of your grace, for the gathering together of your people, for sins forgiven and for lives made new, for light that shines from the scriptures, for love made known at the table, and for the foretaste of heaven in the communion of saints. Hope of the nations, refuge of the weary, blessed are you, sovereign God, light of the world. Amen. At evening time, let us offer our prayers to God. Let us pray for the church, that we may be moved to pursue truth and justice. Within our cycle of prayer for the East Midlands Synod, we pray tonight for the ministers, elders and members of our churches in Leicestershire. We pray for those with settled ministry and for our friends in the West Leicester and Leicestershire resource area as they contemplate and seek to discern new ministry among them. Bless the core group we ask and their deliberations. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the whole earth that we may protect the beauty of creation. We pray for a growing sense of stewardship of creation. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our communities, for those who lead us in faith and for those we serve. In this week of elections, let us pray for those who are standing as candidates and for the privilege of a vote. We give you thanks. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who suffer from illness, oppression or despair. We continue to pray for all those facing the challenge of COVID-19. For those carrying heavy burdens. For those anxious about rising costs. And for those caught up in conflict, whether forced to flee, to fight or suffering the loss of loved ones. And we pray in particular for those afflicted by the conflict in the Ukraine. God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray with Liz for her great nephew Ryan and daughter Emma. With Celia for her brother-in-law Mike. With Prince for Cheryl. With Andy for Mike, his dad, and for Liz and Ruth in their ongoing care of him. With Judith for Catherine, her niece. Giving thanks with her mum and dad, whom I met at Winchester on Sunday morning, for her continued recovery. For the Reverend Graham and Vera Maskery. And within our own prayer team, we continue to pray with Jenny for her husband, Oldham. God of mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who grieve the passing of loved ones, for those grieving for Anne Townsend, especially the Reverend Jeff Townsend and the members of their family, and for our partners in the Botswana Synod, as they mourn the death of the Reverend Malamogo Muriel Motibi. God of mercy, hear our prayer. Holy God, we give you thanks for having brought us to the end of this day. Let our prayer arise before you and may your blessing descend upon us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us with his grace and fill us with his peace. Amen. Alleluia. Good night.